Well, hello and welcome to this instructional video on how to <coughs> leverage Logix One Operator for Zoho CRM. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating the mapping functionality that you can leverage inside your uh, Logix One scheduler module that exists inside Zoho CRM. So to access the mapping functionality, all I need to do is be uh, inside the Logix One scheduler module inside your Zoho CRM environment and then navigate over to the view drop down list and select map. And then when you do, you'll be selected with a map. Um, and here you can perform uh, the mapping functionality. Uh, so I'll just go over what we're looking in the screen. Um, you can, if you want, use these filters up here to hide the map filter. So you can see that hides there. And you can show or hide the operators that you have, your field service operators in the left-hand side. All right. Um, but if we come into the main body of the map, you can see here we have different types of filters here, and these are our filters, but I'll just explain the map as well. So you can see here, we have our um, operators. You can see that here's some operators. You can see one is green, actually in the same area. Um, you can see one started shift and one stop shift. And I'll just simulate from the app um, that actually that functionality working so that you can understand that. Okay, so I'm in the app, and so from the app, I'm going to start my shift. Okay, and you can see it's that Hillsborough Marina team that I'm logged into on my Android device. Uh, it could be on an iOS device, and you can see that that, they, that operator has stopped their shift. And I'll just start the shift again, and you can see that'll change to green. And you'll also notice under the Hillsborough um, uh, operator here you can see that we've got a notification that they started their shift at the exact time all right so that you can do that um, you can use the filter to hide um, to only show certain operators so here what I'll do is I'll just select the Hillsborough so you can see now I only can see the Hillsborough um, op uh, operator but let's just get rid of that and we've got the other test booking so what I could do is show show me Hillsborough all right and show me test Okay, and they show up here, all right? So this is a good way for you to be able to find someone quickly. You know, let's say that you wanted to very quickly find where, the, you know, let's say that you're um, you're right out here and you've got operators everywhere and you want to find exactly where Hillsborough are, you can simply come in here, select them, and then it will show just them. Okay, so that's pretty powerful. The other thing to note is that the map will center on your browser's location. And you might notice when you first access it it'll um, chrome or your browser will ask for permission to do that um, just to make it easier for you to be able to narrow in onto your current environment all right so we'll just hide that and then we'll just see all our operators you can see here i've got multiple operators um, and you could have you know hundreds of operators here if you like all right so let's moving into the main body and looking at the filters so we can filter from um, a, a number of different um, uh, ways of looking at your data. The first is job events. For each job, you uh, like a job card, you create who the account is, who the operator is, what time that's to start and what the services are. And when you create those jobs, you create corresponding job events because you could have a job that has only one event that is it's one time occurring or you could have reoccurring events such as perform this cleanup every Monday morning or whatever it might be. So they're called job events. So I can map out my job events here by selecting the job event filter, and then I can select the day. So let's say I want to show all the job events for this week. And I want to look at everything, all, um, all that are uh, still open. And I can click that, and then you can see here they are here. So if I narrow in on them, you can see there's my job events. So this is from the date and time today, who the operator is, status. I can navigate directly to the actual underlying CRM record for the job, the job event, sorry, itself, uh, or I can do it for the job. Okay, so here's the job detail for it. Okay, so I'll just go back into the map. That's how you can do job events. You, you could actually just show it for one day. So let's just show it for today only. And let's just show all. All right. If any are completed, it will show a different icon and you'll be able to click in there and see the completed invoice for it. Okay, so that's job events. I can also show job cards or jobs or what you might like to call job cards. So for every job, 
uh, which has an address, we can map that here. So we can select jobs, select all states. Let's just drop that down and select Vic and then click apply. All right, and there's our jobs uh, that all are in this area. So we can select that and can see we can open up the job here. All right, so this is a great way for you to see where all your jobs are um, for at, at any given time. So you could say, oh, yeah, we've got lots of jobs here, but we don't have any jobs over here. Let's perform a mail drop. All right, and then that leads me on into the next filter is you can map your CRM accounts here. So you can come in here, select accounts, select the states, click apply, and now you can see all of your job, all of your sorry, all of your accounts. And I can click here and open up that corresponding CRM account. So this is a great tool to actually see where all your accounts are located. And I can also perform the same thing on my contacts as well. Come here, select big, click apply. All right, and so here's my contacts. So that's basically quite a good marketing tool for you to be able to see where all your jobs, accounts and contacts are located. We also have operator history. Operator history lets you see the hist uh, historical movements of your operators, okay? So what I can do is select operator history and then basically come here and I'm going to go back to August 3rd and the start time of 8 a.m. and the end time for the day, you could do it over multiple days. It's worth noting that you get um, the base version allows you seven day history of your um, operators. Um, so we go to the third, and we'll select that. Okay, and then we'll click apply. I'm going to zoom out with that. Oh, it's down here. And then there you can see the operator history of where they've actually traveled um, um, between what points. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's the mapping function that exists inside Logix One Operator for Zoho CRM. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact us using the contact details below. Uh, and thanks for watching.